I mean, there's nothing worse, is there? To meet someone like that, and to connect to them, and then to never have the chance. Oh my god, I know, exactly. Do you think it's worse than the end of Journey's End? Uh, oh, absolutely. I mean, there had to be a part of him that... You know when you love someone, and you want them to be happy, but you know... Oh, is that...? <laughs> it's me. <sighs> Hello? But the call just ended. I'm sorry. I've got to run. Literally, run. Oh no. I don't want to go. Well, you could come back next year. I could come back next year. Hi, Lonzy. He's everything I look for in a guy. He's tall, yeah, he's handsome, I know. great he's hair. Perfect. I know he was perfect, but what was his name? Ten? His name was not Ten, and it wasn't David Tennant. You know that, right? Of course I know that, but he knew everything about Doctor Who. I mean, do you know how hard that is to find in a guy? God, why didn't I get his phone number? I'm a freaking idiot. So what did he look like? Well, brown pinstripe suit, Spiky hair, chucks, trench coat. Oh, I'm glad he looks so good in the trench coat. Okay, so we'll just look for a guy in a trench coat and a suit. Easy enough. Oh. Yeah, this might take a while. Are you sure you're up for this? Oh, we are doing this. We're finding your tent if it takes us all weekend. How about we start with... I feel like we really connected back there, Angie. That's Angel. These glasses, they help me see the future. And they see you and me in my hotel room in 10 minutes. Ugh, ugh. They should make mouthwash for your brain. Not him? Ugh, no, he was a fracking Slovene. Plus he didn't even know who K-9 was. Okay, well, let's try that guy. Oh God, this is gonna take forever. Are you sure you can't recognize him in all of this? Well, he looked just like Ten, but so does that guy. And that guy. But you said he knew everything about Doctor Who, right? Well, yeah, I mean, he was a Who expert. He's not gonna recognize me. I should not come as Rose this time. I'm an idiot. Okay, give me five minutes. Well, this feels strange. Just trust me, okay? Hello, Lindsay. What? Did you watch any of the DVDs I gave you? Well, I watched the ones with the guy with the bow tie because he's hot. Okay, hit me with the first question. Our first contestant, yay! What? I was promised a free t-shirt. Well, you get the free t-shirt if you answer the trivia questions correctly. How else are we supposed to find out who knows the most about Doctor Who? Oh. Oh, okay. Um, who was the companion in The Deadly Assassin? Sarah Jane? Nope. Leela. Beat it. What martial art did the Third Doctor master? Martian Kung Fu. Incorrect. We would have accepted the Nujian Kung Fu or Akita. I, I can try again! Let me try again! No second chances. Who is the shortest serving companion? Easy, Astrid. No, Astrid was not a companion. Of course she was. No, she died in the same story she was introduced in. So did Sarah Kingdom. <laughs> Also not a companion. What are you talking about? Astrid was a loser. Loser! Yeah, you're you a liar! You're a bad man! You're a bad man! Sorry. Oh my tent would never act like that. He's gentle, mature. What are the five kinds of Daleks in the asylum of a Oh I got this. What was a Mars? <sighs> Wrong Mars episode. No, it was so buddy. It the rude. Rude and not ginger. What doctor did... Um... Which... Epi She's a girl. Look, I was on the show. Fans of the show write to me asking for autographed pictures. So no, I don't know Romana's full bloody name. That's not the point. I am British and I am actually part of the Who universe. Two Hood killed me. He's an 11. So what? He's cute. No 11s. <laughs> Technically. Don't say it. 
I'm a 12, all right? The day the doctor revealed the that- Your doctor doesn't count. You're an 11 and you're not my type. Beat it. Maybe he's not here. No, he's here. He has to be, he wouldn't miss this. Okay, well, I'm with you. I'm with you to the bitter end. But what if one of these guys is actually cool? I mean, some of those dudes are really cute. They may not know everything about Doctor Who, but they like it enough to dress up and stuff. Yeah, but my perfect 10 really did know everything but you about only her. knew him one night. <sighs> Kevin Kramer, please come up and pay your tab. Are you guys giving away t-shirts? Because I am selling t-shirts here, and if you're just gonna okay, give them away, um, then nobody's gonna buy mine because you're giving well, them I away. Mean, we're not actually giving away t-shirts because we don't have any t-shirts. So, so you're lying to people. How much for a t-shirt? Is anybody sitting here? Help yourself. Kaiser, former prime minister. Yeah, I know who you are. I can't even tell you guys what I'm thinking right now. And this is how my fan fiction starts. <laughs> I heard you were giving out t-shirts. Sorry, those are for the cosplayers that win the trivia contest. Oh, I'm really good at trivia. What's a cosplayer? Um, cosplayers are people that dress up in costume to celebrate their favorite character. Oh, these are costumes. I thought these dudes all just called each other. <laughs> no, see, um, I'm a Rose because she's my favorite. And all these guys in trench coats. <laughs> They're all doctors, right? So the ones in trenches are tens. Uh, then there's some elevens. Geronimo! And that's a 12. He's new, but they're all the same benevolent alien. They're all doctors. I'm a doctor too. Well, not really, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I work with doctors though. I guess I just wanted to fit in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My secretary picked this hotel to make me uncomfortable because she's a bully. <laughs> but joke's on her, I'm thinking about staying in whatever world this is. The dress code is very sharp. Oh yeah, she, she's an adipose. I think I sell that. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. Ask me some questions. About Doctor Who? Is that what this is about? I, I've never actually <laughs> seen an episode. Really? <laughs> Hit me. Uh, but just so you know, I'm gonna be devastated if I don't win. I live for free t-shirts. Don't we all? The answer is yes, give me my shirt. <laughs> no, that doesn't count. That's not a trivia question. Oh man, it's gonna be harder than I thought. Okay, uh, what does the doctor travel in? Well, it's, uh, it's like a phone booth, right? Not really. Oh, come on. It's that thing, right? I mean, it's totally a phone booth. All right, you know what? I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for giving me my completely correct answer. <laughs> give me the next one. I'm on a roll. Okay. Um, who is the first doctor? Uh, William Hart Ill. Now. William Hart Now. Very good. Very surprising. Uh, okay. How many times did Rory Williams physically die during the show? Four. No, five. Five, yeah. How are you getting these right? Why is it right? <laughs> I told you, I'm good at trivia. Okay, all right, smart guy. Then, ooh, what is the name of the artificial black hole that Time Lords used to power time travel? Uh, the eyeball. The eye of song. Uh, du duet, no, no. Um... Tamara! I may also have cheated. I mean, he seemed nice, so oh. I was just helping you. You're missing the point. That's not my guy, that's not my 10. Yeah, but he's really cute and he's so nice. Jeez, it doesn't matter. Do you remember how many dates I've been on in the past year? Like seven or something? Yeah, enough for me to know that there's no guy out there like my 10. He doesn't even know anything about Doctor Who. I don't know anything about Doctor Who and we're still friends. Hi. Focus. What, like you're the only one that can think of Doctor's Hot? Take this. Hey, 
Hey, I'm sorry I cheated before. I should have told you that she was standing behind you. I have an addiction to free t-shirts, and I'll do anything to get one. It's been a problem my whole life. And frankly, if I don't do something about it, it's probably gonna kill me. <laughs> no hard feelings? Nah, it was, it was fun. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Just one more question. Who's Rose? She's a shop girl, right? She's this nobody from nowhere London who risked her own life just to save the doctor. And he loved her, and I mean, he should have, because she was amazing. I mean, she could have just stayed safe at home and, and dated the right guy and eaten three meals a day. But she chose greater things. She chose to be a hero. I don't know, I guess I kind of want to be like her when I grow up. I think you already are like her. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded really cheesy. I guess I just see that in you. I can tell that your life story is gonna be great. And if you told me that you were off to save the world right now, I'd believe you. Anyway, sorry I didn't win your trivia contest. Excuse me, uh, I heard there was a trivia contest. Uh, there's a free t-shirt involved? Uh, right, yeah. Well, I know everything about Doctor Who, so feel free to fire away. I'm sorry, we've already had a beer. Oh, thank God. Bloody face of... Hey, trivia boy. Uh, you won. <laughs> I get a t-shirt? <laughs> What's your name? Ben. Hi, Ben. Um, I'm Angel. Do you want to get a drink? I'd love to. Allons-y, baby. My name is Doctor Who, and I'm the one you're gonna do. Ah. I've got the fish fingers if you've got the custard. Yeah. Hey, you're a doctor. I'm a doctor. How often do you get to make out with yourself? Mm -hmm. The adipose. 